Hello, I'm Malika and I'm from Maybe More. Now, I make jewellery. Uh, you may know me as the lady that drinks too much gin, but um, that's not true. That's, that's just a falsehood. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own jewellery using rock salt. Now, during lockdown, I've been having a lot of fun making things, but I've been using things that I have around my house. And I think upcycling is really important to the steampunk community. So join me and do have a go at making this. Now, if you do make it, please do share any videos or photographs with me on my Facebook page over at Maybe More, because I really would like to see what you make. Now, to make this very simple craft, you're going to need some rock salt, uh, some glue, now I use diamond glaze, but you can choose something different. Um, some clear or glitter nail varnish. This is optional, but it really does add to the finished effect. Um, you're going to need a base for your necklace. Um, I've used these particular ones. Uh, and then you're gonna need some color. Now I'm using mica powder. If you have this at home, then it is fantastic to use to color the rock salt. Um, however, if you don't have this at home, don't go out and buy things specially. You can use any form of paint, uh, such as acrylic paints that you add water to, or powder paints. Um, it, all of it will work just as well. Right, to start making our nebula necklace, uh, we're going to have to uh, make some uh, coloured sea salt. Uh, now, I'm using uh, mica powder. Um, if you don't have access to this, you can use any kind of paint, uh, even acrylic paint, uh, just what the children use, and just make it quite watery. Uh, so all I've done is, I don't know if you can see in there, there's a tiny bit of water, uh, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this lovely shimmery mica powder and give that a stir and then it's very simple I'm just going to add rock salt there we go and as you can say in see instantly that starts to take on that beautiful iridescent color now in true blue peter style here's some I prepared earlier so here you can see I've got a lovely shimmery uh, silver, so a sort of an ice. I've got red here. And all I did to this one is I added some glitter at uh, the stage where I put the water and the mica powder in. Uh, and then I've left them to dry overnight on some kitchen towel. Uh, and so I'm just going to do exactly the same with our purple. So let's just add it over here. And that will make sure that the sea salt takes up all of the colour and the water doesn't stay. There we go. That's as simple as that. That's stage one. Okay, so I've chosen diamond glaze to use. Um, I find this is uh, very easy uh, and also it dries nicely and you have a clear finish. So really simply, all the way to the edges, just put some glue in there uh, and then it's just a case of building up some colors uh, so what I thought I'd do is I go for a darker background so sprinkle a little bit of our black and gray in here uh, and then I've got some nice shimmering silver so I'm going to add some shimmering silver and then just keep pushing it down into the glue uh, until you start building up the colors you want so let's have a look. We've got some nice pinks over here. So we're just going to add some pinks. Uh, and the only other thing you need to keep doing as you go along is just adding some more adhesive. Uh, so I'm just going to add a little bit more diamond glaze. Uh, and again, this is why I like using diamond glaze, because if you're using something like um, a PVA, you may be using uh, a brush or something similar to that. Uh, and you will find that the salt crystals are really annoying and they stick to the brush every time. Uh, so keep going like this. Um, I've got some gold now. I'm just going to put on this half um, and you can be as creative as you want to be I mean if you want to put swirls and loops through of different colors then enjoy your time uh, with building up different colors um, I'm just showing you for this demonstration a very quick way of making the colors so you will need to stop and let it dry in between uh, and then uh, build up around the edge if you want to. Um, you can keep going with the glue uh, and keep going with different colours. Uh, 
Okay, now you can see that we've created our nebula uh, with all different colours there. I've just added all of those so that you could see uh, how easy it was just to make up patterns and be creative. Uh, I'm not overly enamoured of the different colours there, uh, but you can have a lot of fun in creating your own. Uh, now the final thing I'm going to do is just put a seal on it. Uh, and I find the easiest and cheapest way to do this is with clear nail varnish. Now you can use just straight clear or like I'm doing here you could add some with some shimmer and sparkle and some lovely strictly come dancing glitter so very simply you're just going to drop it on uh, all over to create a nice finish uh, and this will not only give it a nice finish but also make sure that all of those sea salt crystals uh, stay in place so Rather than you sit and watch me do that, because I'm sure there are much better ways that you can spend your afternoon, uh, I'll be back when that is all complete and I can show you it as a finished article. Uh, but as you can see, it's very Druzy-like. Uh, I like to call them nebula, but then I do love space. Um, if you did it with the button, here's the one that I created. Uh, you can have real fun with different layers on, on the button. And again, that one's got the glitter nail varnish on the top. Uh, you can stick to one colour on its own. Um, there we go. I think that looks very uh, crystal-like there. Um, or you could try making a geode, uh, and I've done black around the outside and then gold in the inside uh, with a bit of a shimmer uh, and this one is my final one um, I think this one looks like a comet or a dirty snowball um, I hope you enjoy making them if you do have a go please do take photographs and share them with me on my maybe more Facebook page I really would like to see uh, what you get up to that'd be great thank you other than that stay safe